Welcome to the Spec Tester, where we test the truthfulness of the specs that sellers claim online and give you just the data quickly, efficiently, and without wasting your time on long intros, title graphics, and other frills. I've already wasted 12 seconds of your time, so let's get going. This is the Anchor PowerCore Fusion 10,000 mAh power bank and charger. That's right, it has a charger built in, which is pretty cool because it means you can plug it into the wall, charge your devices, and then flip up the prongs and take it with you as a power bank. It has a regular USB output, a USB-C output, and both ports have Anchor's PowerIQ technology, which they say is compatible with USB power delivery and quick charge. Anchor also gets major brownie points from me because in their marketing, they actually make it clear that the 10,000 mAh spec is the nominal rated capacity of the internal cells. Now that's true for basically every power bank, but a lot of manufacturers don't say so. And I always worry that consumers are going to be confused and think that you can actually get 10,000 mAh out of a 10,000 mAh power bank. I wish the industry would go in the direction of telling you how much capacity you will actually see from their power banks, but nobody's moving in that direction. And until we get there, I'm just happy to see that Anchor is being really transparent. So again, major brownie points. But what really matters is the true capacity of the power bank. So let's hook up a discharge meter and we'll come back when the test is complete. Okay, so the results are in and this device tested 6276 mAh. But as I've done on other videos, I want to adjust for the fact that we tested the capacity at the USB output voltage of 5 volts and the internal cells are rated at 3.7 nominal volts. So we're going to take the milliwatt hour rating, divide by 3.7, and that gives us an adjusted capacity of 8583 mAh. That's 31 mAh per gram of weight, which is not great, but remember this has a charger built in, so you would expect it to be heavier than a comparable power bank without that function built in. It's only 14% under the advertised spec, and as I've said on other videos, I consider that a win. I think this is within the margin that you could attribute that shortfall to the voltage boosting circuitry and the efficiency lost in that process. That's all for now. Hopefully you have found this data useful.